Rise on the fire, keep it your chest. He's a schoolboy football. A team could rise and a team could fall. But they never will know until the whistle blows around. Come enjoy the show. He's a school. Well, let's start with the Clarendon College starting lineup. Pretty much what we've become accustomed to. Rashid Morel in goal. Nashon Bolt Barrett will be a tower of strength in the back line. So will Devontae Hodges. And he provides an avenue up front, especially in set pieces. Malachi Douglas has been brilliant again this season, as has Christopher Hull. DeAndre Gallimore in the lineup, along with Atiba Green. But no one has been better in front of goal than Kahim Dixon. 24 times he scored this season, and he's provided 15 assists. Tion QP is the man that gets the job done. Rachel Francis and Justin Hales completes the Clarendon College lineup. For St. George's College, they know they have a tough job today. In their last game in the Manning Cup against Jamaica College, Dijon Davis was superb in goal. He was the player of the match. He starts on the bench today. Jaden Thompson gets the start. Zabir Taylor had a great game against JC. Matthew Spence, Brian Burkett, their leading goal scorer with 20. Adrian Reed, Malik Lorraine, Ajani Napier, Jindu Powell, Anil Mitchell, Michael Pennant, and Jaquan Clark. The starting lineup for the Marcel Gale coach team. Never Burgess Bell is the technical quarterfinal thriller. These are the highlights. Carterell getting the contest on the way. St. George's College on the attack early. Matthew Spence with a ferocious right footed drive over the top. Kahim Dixon had his chance early, but he couldn't keep it down either. That was even higher over the top. Then in the eighth minute, lovely dink inside from the set piece. Shit to Paul arriving. Lovely header to give St. George's College the 1 0 advantage. Clarendon College would respond shortly after, though, in the 12th minute of the encounter. Mm, let's have a look at this. Lovely ball for Kahim Dixon, showing some speed, pace, skill. Brilliant save from goalkeeper Jaden Thompson, but he couldn't stop the follow up from Justin Hales scoring his third goal of the season and Curran and College were level at 1-1 in the 12th minute. Rest of the first half, they went to it. St. George's College had the better of possession. They had 57% possession at the end of this. That was a long-range effort, but weak from Zabir Taylor who had a wonderful game for them. Clarendon College, they had a chance to take the lead in the closing moments, but Christopher Hulls packed it over the top. We saw a number of those tonight where they just couldn't keep those shots down. He was bitterly disappointed. Second half of the contest now. Clarendon College, they started by going on the attack and produced one of the saves of the night, if not the save of the night. Brilliant stop. Rachel Francis with the shot. After Gallimore had set him up brilliantly, but Jaden Thompson with a strong right hand making the stop. Then it was all St. George's. A number of attacks. That shot from Adrian Reed was blocked. And then Clarendon College found a way. It started from that free kick, which was taken by Atiba Green. Daniel Clark with a long range effort. Not taken cleanly by Jaden Thompson. And Kahim Dixon was on the scene to slot home his 25th goal of the campaign. And definitely a significant one. Another goal in a massive moment for the Clarendon College number 13. I consider him the most underrated player in schoolboy football. But I think the fans are starting to realize just how good he is. And then for good measure, the contest finished off with the final kick. Tadane Williams showing great composure in front of goal. You expect them to score that. And Tadane Williams delivered his fifth goal of the season. Clarendon College's third of the night. And they win it by three goals to one. Fabulous encounter. Clarendon College, 15 shots, 6 on target. St. George's College, 14 shots, 4 on target. 
14 falls in the contest, nine of them committed by Clarendon College, a yellow card apiece, eight corners for St. George's College, all came in the second half, four for Clarendon College, each goalkeeper made three saves, and in the final analysis, it was Clarendon College who had most of the possession, 58 to 42, quite interesting, because it was 57 to 43 in favor of STGC at the end of the first half. But the statistic that matters most, 3-1, Clarendon College winning over St. George's College. Let's head downstairs, find out who the player of the match is, and hear from the coaches. And here we have our man of the match. His name is Kahim Dixon. He's been presenting the Digital Man of the Match Award trophy by their junior brand manager, Kadeen Webley. Kahim, I don't know if it's a case that you're addicted to goals, but when 80 minutes in the match came and I was like, where is Kahim? Where is Kahim? And finally, you got the goal. What was running through your head at that time? Um, you know, I, what was running through my head that I have to get one for my team. So I don't want to go to the penalty shooter, so I have to own one for a team. Well, I want to check on you to see if you're okay. I know the ball hit in your chest and you're on the ground for a while. Are you feeling okay now? Yes, I'm okay. Okay, well, I know for a fact Clarendon College is looking for the treble this year. Do you think that that is still in sight? Yeah, well, but we're going to take it one step at a time. We're going to jump over it one game at a time. Well, okay, thank you, Kaim, and enjoy your man of the match trophy. Thank you very much. And now we have a chance. Schoolboy football, come, come, look one, look all. Which team are the best and are better than the best? And if I hear team beat your chest, it's a schoolboy football. A team could rise and a team could fall. But you never will know until the whistle blows around. Come enjoy the show. It's a 